All right, all right, all right. We got the best game. Let me try and do a better job of cropping this nonsense. Sorry, I don't have a 4x3 feed at home, so we do this live. Whoop, don't do that. So, for those of you watching at home, um, Super Turbo is one of the staples here at YSB. We love it, um, and hope you guys will too, because it is a, honestly, it is a great game. Uh, I think Production Boys is almost done. That looks, hey, there we go, that's almost good. That is dark. We could fix that. That's not great. Yikes. So the tournament will be starting any minute. Um, just stay with us as we prepare to get the show on the road. Um, in the meantime, you can watch me struggle to get this super gun happening. Damn, it's dark. How am I going to fix this? We're going to fix this the same way we fix every problem. By calling Dave. So, I'm going to go grab him. In the meantime, you guys enjoy some casuals. And we'll start the tournament shortly, guys. So stay tuned. Alright, so we are running up next. We're going to start the ST bracket. Um, I don't know who or what's running, but we'll figure it out as we go. So, I'll kill the commentary. And then, I guess we'll... I'm going to grab a microphone for in-house and we'll start running this show. Are you in? Alright. Can you start it? 
We're gonna stop now. Uh, FP? Yeah. Good to you. He played really well. Like, really, really well against Riku. Like, that match was like. I don't know how. You, you can really I, can I, is there a microphone yeah. I can use? Uh, that matchup is like. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to run Street Fighter 2 Turbo from the commentary desk, so if you haven't seen me now, we'll start the bracket. So, apart from four last games, yeah. we're going to get the show on the road. Like, if, you eat a, if you eat a heavy kick, that's so a hard heavy kick. Too. Got to run a stream and a damn bracket. What a good time to be alive. If you guys would like to follow along at home, you can do so on... This link, and I'm going to go ahead and move that webcam so we get some ca uh, camera feed there. And he still wants to run it back with me. Oh, is he still here? I'll burst it if he is. Uh, what? What? Oh no! Why? He's on Infowars cousin. Who? Infowars cousin. Okay, so the Super Turbo Bracket is underway. Um, I think we might have actually started this bracket, like, late. But... I guess we'll let it rock. We're going to switch to COF-14 at some point, so... Can I get Dave or Will to the stream station, please? Can I get Dave or Will to the stream station?
I won. All right, so we got Dr. Kimball and Ostazone starting things off. Ostazone just seems like he's a new guy. I haven't seen him around before, but Dr. Kimball is no stranger to Super Turbo in any of the older games. He's what, a top eight finisher in third strike. Um, at OHN6, I believe. But he always, he's just insistent on going with such honest characters. And I don't really respect any of that. Just, and his opponent clearly doesn't respect him. Picking Bol Bolrog. Whoa! What a bonkers hitbox that was. Big cross up, but nothing. So I think the big thing in this matchup, if you're Ryu, is you don't want to over throw fireballs. It's just kind of the case where, like, if the Vega is going off the wall a lot, you've really got to sort of force the issue. But Ossazone is not doing that just far, and Dr. Kimbo is going to go up one zip. So if the Vega player establishes a lot of off the wall pressure, he can react jump to a lot of fireballs. So a lot of the time you want to be trying to corner yourself to completely mitigate the cross-up pressure and um, doing all that sort of stuff. But Ostazone's kind of intent on playing a footsie's game and it's not really... I don't know. It, I mean, it hasn't worked out for him thus far, but we'll see how he can shake it up. Nice kick throw. Grabs the overhead. Now he's got the corner, but... Ironically, against Core, that's kind of where you want to be, just because of the wall dive pressure and how incredible that 50-50 game is. Oh, and the anti-air with the super. Paul showing signs a lot still. Got his three piece. Oh no, you gotta be faster than that. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. I think, I know Old Ryu definitely has an option select that covers both sides with um, Tatsu. Like it's a, it's a six button option select, it's Tatsu or Shoryuken depending on the side. Claw comes out, but I don't know if Ryu's DP has it as effectively, and I'm 99% sure Paul does not know it. There we go. Be lame. Just pick your favorite button and keep Ryu cornered. Good stuff by Ostazone. strong on their character choices. Relentless pressure from Paul. Gets himself a nice half screen. Tries to the cross up hard to, but nothing. Lost his own court. Buttons or doing something, I'm not sure. But Paul's gonna go up. The beautiful thing about Super Turbo is that everything is plus. Or just about everything is plus. So, if you're worried about knowing frame data, just don't hit that button, because that's going to be a sad time for you. DP's the limb pressure. Oh, goes for the YOLO. And there you go, there you see it. That's a reaction, ladies and gentlemen. You do not need any sort of anything, really. You just got to see it coming, hold that up forward. Up for the best move in the game with Claw. Yeah. All tournaments, three out of five. Yeah, you can't, you shouldn't be walking yourself out of the corner. If you're Ryu, you gotta mitigate that 50 50 entirely. 
make him use one of his other 5,000 really ridiculous tools. Or that, or just hope, hope he messes up and go ahead and take that W. So Paul's moving the match point here. You see his Ossazone sort of switched up his pressure to be more reactive to fireballs. Paul stopped throwing them and has adapted by becoming more reactive to the jumps and doing DPs. Although against Core it's not such a bad deal as it would be against other characters because you're looking at maybe a limb or, or two limb punish against um, if you're against Core because his, his damage output isn't high. He can just get damage from a lot of different places. And Paul's moving the match point. Anti <laughs> edge jab, Street Fighter 5 boys. And this is why you don't want to be mid screen against Coral. Nice. Claw's just so slippery in the air, he's gonna go super fight. And nice. And Paul takes it. So let's call the next match. So on stream now we have Made Man on player 2 <laughs> and Old Ryu Dejan on I mean, everything's an interesting pick from Dejan because he plays every game and we don't know what he means, but he's solid. Like, he knows what he's doing. He just perfected one of the better Zangiefs in Sydney. I think what you're seeing though is a lot of dropped lariats from Luke and he's in. And there it is. He's been really working on this. Oh no, he was too slow on the punish. Those old man VF fingers. And Luke's bouncing back. Either. He's gonna stick with it. 
The older he has done the work thus far. Although, I think conventional wisdom in Super Turbo will be that um, Zangief beats the Shotos in this game because his normals are actually ridiculous and he's able to mix up his jump timing so well. It's not unwinnable, it's like 6-4 maybe. But, it's impressive that Dejan is stuck, stuck with his guns. Like, in a situation like this, obviously the Shotos are going to shine once they got their go in the fire trap, fireball trap in the corner. But, you know, like, look at this. You're going to see stand forwards from Luke all day. And there's not really much for you can do about it. Nice. See, look at this. Dejan's fireball trap is legit. He's doing really well. Oh, no. Oh no! Cat caught the up forward. It's a scary situation for Luke, and Dejan is just so intent on running away. I don't know, I would have. Maybe look for a chip here and there, try and sneak a couple fireballs in, but he's gone up one apiece.
So after this match, we're going to move to top three of KOF really quickly, and then we'll be back to top three of Super Turbo right after that. So stay tuned. We're just going to switch over to um, King of Fighters 14 for a little bit, so stick around. Yes, definitely. Where's your, where's your, um, Oz Hardo shirt? Do you have one? Yeah, I do. You do? <laughs> but it's currently a comrag in my bag. Ah, that's all good. Where I put my consoles and stuff. Cool. How many consoles did you bring? Just the one and the stick. No worries, mate. I uh, just gotta put the camera back on that setup up there. The I have no idea who's playing. Uh, it's, it's a two reuse. It's actually oh. Kyokugen and wait, are, are they actually are they really playing? It's weird to see him play Ryu. He's probably just trying to make a statement. Make <laughs> the statement. I don't need Kami. Okay, well, I don't I'm going to try your ear. I don't know what the score is, so we'll figure no out. No idea. Okay. He was here for KOF. That's okay, that's... KOF hasn't been too active as of late in Sydney. Well, we play it every now and then, but that's about it. Yeah, we need to try to Thir push it. When we were playing KO 13, however, it was like every week, every weekend was a meetup. Yeah. Every single weekend. So who's who in Sydney does like the regular meetups for like SNK fighters? Not just SNK. Like, oh, it's not, not just KOF, but I mean like any kind of SNK fighters. In between, it's like a cross between Alex, Alex and Pat. Yeah. So I mean. We got Alex here, which is good. Pat would have been nice to see him as well, but obviously, we'll see him next time. And I'm always, I'm always a. a Wait, are you, are you coming to the next one? It's February. Are you coming to the next YSB? I, I'm not making any promises, but maybe. Oh great. I, said I mean, ma maybe. <laughs> oh great, sure, <laughs> sure. I, I'm just gonna pull out like, was it like 100, 100, 150 bucks? How much I paid for my flights to get here? I mean. Sure. You, you, you're not staying at Pat's today, right? No, I'm staying at uh, we Luke. Oh, Luke. Oh, Luke, yeah. So I in Yaguni, Yaguno. Yeah. I don't know where he, he he lives. He said he lives like 40, 40, 50 minutes out from Sydney to CBD, so that's quite far. Is All the right, stream yeah, dropping yeah, for yeah, anyone good. else? No, we actually. Just Marty. It's just it's just you, man. It's just you. 
Uh, my suggestion is uh, keep buffering. Keep buffering. My suggestion for you is to go to that weed, that weed dealer on the left and get some weed, Marty. Clear your browsing history and then refresh Twitch again. Knowledge on ST. Hmm? What's your knowledge on uh, ST? ST. Yeah. Uh, I've been following it for a while. Yeah. That's right. You. I saw you playing earlier. You're playing Ken. Yeah. <laughs> Any particular reason you play Ken? No, because it's just fun, and I just want to do. Um, Dave calls them juice kicks. Everyone else in the US calls them crazy kicks. Crazy kicks. It's the one where you do like the tattoo in the air and just goes like in a weird parabola. Oh yeah. 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 That one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, I have, I'm been trying to get to a consistent to the point where like, if someone does a DP, I want to do that. Oh, <coughs> what? Yeah, invincibility. Um, Love I it. I want to get to the point where like, if a really high, if someone, if I get, if I block a really high DP, yeah. but sometimes you can't, you're not in the spacing to mm. punish. Yeah. Maybe like, like one random straight hit. I want to try to get the. the Juice kick, crazy kick in. Yeah. Do that in, and I can get in as well. Yeah, I see. Yeah. But it's 50 50 at the moment. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. Jumping straight into a DB. Right. I think I'm still waiting for my, uh, my loser's match. Super Ooh, far out. Wow, that would have been sick. Who was that? I think it was uh, Dave. I know Dave. That color, or Alex picks the other one. All right. Well, I'm assuming that was three one, three two. I have no idea who won. Dave, who won? It was Dave. Dave. It was Dave. It was Dave. I gotta play. Yeah, Dave won. Hmm. Look at main man right now. Wait, I have to do this. What's up, buddy? The overlay. Yeah, you can use this one. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that's for you commentators. I didn't even know. for the downtime.
There we go. Luke and Dave. No, no, no. Luke and Henry.
Feet's dead. One, two, three, four, five. So if that happens, just deactivate and reactivate it. Ah, uh, what was it? I'll let you do it. Four.
Hello. Wow, that's loud. Or bassy or something. I leave this damn stream station for like two minutes and that's what happens. So I don't know what the score is, but Dejan's going with old Ryu for reasons we'll never understand. I could probably ask him, or maybe he said it before, but who knows. Nice air there. Whoa. I had enough time on that one to land and get the sweep out. That's godlike. I'm pretty sure New Ryu wins this matchup just based on the super alone. Like, Old Ryu probably has a better fireball game, but if you just turtle up and get the super, like, that's a bit of a game changer. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not the unblockable setup for the Tatsu, but, well, who knows. Score is 2-0 Kimball. Thank you, Marty. We are going to plow through the rest of this bracket as fast as we physically can. Shoutouts to KOF. Good zoning. Man, Paul is really solid. Kimball's really, really solid in this game. But I think he gets janked out a lot. Like, I don't know. If, I think my match with him was on stream. And I was just doing dumb DPs in the neutral. Um... So, I don't know, like, Paul is super solid, but you can jank him out. And we're approaching top eight. I believe we've just moved into top eight. But, um... Yeah. Whoa, big DP. And Paul's done it, and he's going to stay on again. Paul, don't move. Play Hugo against Hugo, and I believe this is now top eight. So we're gonna run up to top four and then we're gonna run top four along the mainstream. What? Okay, um, you play him. No, yeah, you play, you play him, you play him, you play Will. And he's playing you, Will. Oh, okay. That guy, I don't know, but he made top 8 in SF. Wait, did he? Yes, I beat him. He hit nice jab in combos. Impressive. Hey. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh no! Boxer, you're a bully. You're an absolute bully. Look at him. Look at that shit-eating grin on Hugo's face. Nice, but way too high. Where are we going? Walk under. Meaty. Oh, catches the air. Catches me out of the air. Five. Look at that. Hugo's tap game's improved as of late, I think. Whoa. The thing about Hugo is that he was a really bare-bones boxer maybe 
I'd say no more than six months ago. And now he's getting the nerd stuff down like the tap. He's been playing a lot with KG. KG, pretty disgusted with how clean Hugo is with his boxer. But he's slowly learning. Nice. Yeah, I, I want to see Paul challenge a lot more with, you know, crouching middle punches, stop the approach, and really catch the straight punches out of their startup. But <laughs> it's really hard to do that when you're being jailed by the super. Nice. Get the shenanigans happening. Yes, push him in the corner. Oh, no, he's going to walk right under you. Oh, no, he's not. That was interesting. Yes, we've got to see the shenanigans. Box is bringing a knife to the gunfight. Uh oh. DP! Oh! He should have tattooed or something. This is scary. And that's sad. But Hugo goes up to zip, so good job to him. Paul's going to stick it out with the Ryu. I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess DJ is not really going to be much better. Nice. Big tick, where are we going? We going under? No, we're going for the meaties. Oh, this is looking pretty bad for Paul. No meat are cornered. And now he's gonna be eating some sweet, sweet super. Paul, five, will he go for the headbutt for good measure? Yes, he will, but it doesn't work. Oh, Paul. It's do or die, what's he got? What's he got? Neutral jump, that's not good. Okay, okay. Okay, that's really upsetting. And She's gonna do it. Do you guys stay? Can I get Gangster to Super Turbo? Gangster to Super Turbo, please. Henry. Yes. So, we are now well and truly in top eight. Coming up next, we have Hugo versus Gangster. I will be playing the winner of um, Azuzu and Osterzone, who are, which is happening off stream right now. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go figure out what's happening. I might get Dave to come down and sit for a bit. So I might sign off for a little bit and then we'll get, I guess, top eight until the end from now. Mike is muted. Okay, so Hugo versus Gangster against is coming up. KG, Igor in the background. Igor, a guest from uh, Melbourne in Sydney. Oh, Mighty Ken's in the chat. Just to your super. <laughs> Hugo can't feel the round because of the PC. Oh, he got it. So uh, Henry is missing at the moment, I guess. So I guess they're not playing their match. Oh no. Henry's coming. So this is a uh, boxer versus Chung Lee. Um, pretty difficult for boxer. Um, typically Henry does decent against Hugo, but let's see how Hugo's leveled up after SXP. Yes, that's a nice stage for 
Boxer Chun Li action. Okay, so Chun Li is happy to escape the meter. Um, Hugo's not checking the throw. Henry is trying to get uh, some mileage out of those throw loops. Oh, okay, he needs to score super. So yeah, that's where Chung Li is really dangerous when she has any meter. Might have maybe been a, a better thing for uh, Hugo to do. To uh, just jump around and maybe like it will just skim him. Especially in that situation where there's a fireball. Um... Oh, nice TP. Oh, okay, just get thrown. Boxer doesn't really have any like cross ups or anything, so that probably wasn't what he wanted to do, but uh. Oh, it's Toshin! Why is Toshin watching SP? <laughs> We'll probably put the archive up on uh, SD Revival. I mean, they've seen our OHM stuff actually. Oh, okay. Going for a safe jump. Okay. Gets uh, punished, but Henry just does a reversal again. Nice headbutt. I'm not sure if that's quite a safe jump, but it, it sort of fakes Henry out at least. Um, the box has bar. This is pretty bad for Chun Li. But uh, Hugo's not giving him a reason to be too scared about it. So Henry is getting his score super. Okay, just block. Oh. Nice. Okay, so get the low rush. Oh, I didn't update the score. Okay, so headbutts out of the, um, the throw pressure. Gets thrown, doesn't. Okay, he's going for the throw loops. Wow, gets a five, and then Henry goes to the ground. So Hugo. Doing more tap stuff, I think he's incorporating that into his play. Yeah, I'm up late, but I'm in for SP. Building the meter, okay, burns it on a uh, sword super, or just has super. Okay, so pretty bad for Boxer, but uh, let's see how he, he goes. Oh, okay, just get sword super. I'd probably just turtle with the jump hard punch. He can move around a bit, and he's in the air, so it's harder for me to... I don't understand what's going on. Did you want to commentate Toshin Gordon? Remember um, Silent Hill 123? Okay, so KG does not remember. I don't know what's going on. Why is he saying East Canada then? I'm not understanding. Remember, like, Sil uh, Gary? Tekken Gary? Um, he played on GDPO. He used the green Ryu. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a crappy Ryu player that you, though, KG. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Henry just won a match. I'm really hungry now. Sorry? Oh, it's 2 1, yeah. As in, you go. He got a, f a five turn punch. <laughs> He's been working with Rin really well, actually. I think you have to against Chung Li as well. So she does a fireball trade. Eat shit. <laughs> oh, nice meanie. Oh, okay. Come on, just do a super. Okay, Henry is going for sword super. Okay. Oh, I would probably stop. Oh, he could just uh, crouch uh, medium or heavy? Heavy, yeah. I'm on mic, I can't see. <laughs> nah, kidding. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit disorientating, like Chung Wei in general, you know? Oh, that was a really good jump. 
Oh, there you could just do a super. Nice. You're gonna store super? Oh! Nice! Okay, so Hugo putting up a good fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a four. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, come on. He could have supered and taken that round for sure. I think the problem is Hugo's not keeping Henry in the corner because he's doing the triangle jump. You need to fucking tell him. <laughs> you need to tell him. We need to alert him straight away. Okay, so Henry gets the game. And we're playing the next match. I don't know who's playing. Okay, so the stream has died, so I'm gonna have to refresh it. What? It's not working. I literally do not know what to do. Okay, I'm going to try unplugging and plugging it in again. <laughs> so greedy. Uh, I'm guess I'm gonna guess that like um. I'm making an informed guess, maybe. But I'll have to confirm. I'm making an informed guess, but I have to confirm. What the heck? Nice. Oh, see that's. <laughs> That would have been a DP in the face. Guys, what's the score? 1-1, one, one. okay. Huh? Okay, so we're getting the SP goodness back after the LGP kind of got the bed. I mean LGX. Okay, so it's one all. Um, oh wow, great jump in. Okay, good uppercut. Oh wow, just sort of unguarded. Oh, I reckon he could have done a jump uh, heavy kick there. How does Marty know the score's 1-1? One, one? Like the friggin' footage went away. How does Marty know it's 1-1? One, one? Oh, I guess he was listening to it. Okay, sorry Marty, I apologize. Okay, so, um, yeah, Jono got himself cornered and gets thrown by Chun Lee. 
Oh, uh, it's not a UDC PS2. I mean, I do have one of them sort of uh, pre-ordered. Oh, nice, Antia. Not so nice down forward heavy kick. Um, I do have one of them pre-ordered, but, um, oh, okay. Henry's just going for it. Doesn't really care. Nice. Um, yeah, I do have it pre-ordered, but like uh, the Brian guy. Oh, that was probably it. Oh, what? It froze again. Huh? It, it froze again, basically. Okay, so Henry's up to. Manny's on like the next level, man. He's like listening to the sounds. He's like one with the ST or something. Oh, uh, this is bogus, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, the the LGX is. Um, At least we get the nice uh, CPS2 audio. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so I get up around. Okay, Henry doesn't block low. Oh, that was very strange. Okay, so it's a two all. Match point for both players. Not sure why my LG, well, the LGX is dying, but what can you do? Props to Jono for cropping. <laughs> oh, the player can. Oh, okay, just doesn't complete the combo. <laughs> KG is in awe. Oh, shoot. SPD damage. Okay, so this is match point for Henry. Um, Chung Lee really able to just sort of go into Saget. Okay, holding the ground quite nicely. Now, that should be an uppercut. I think Jono's a bit uh, uh, frazzled by that. Nice. Oh, okay. Mm, Henry a little too greedy with the media there. Gives him what? No, he, he barely does it though. That's the, no, he needs to start doing it, I thought. The low one? Huh? Oh. He, most of it's low. Yeah, I think Henry's. Yeah. Henry's just. Oh, bad jumping. Okay, Jono must be happy. Sorry? Oh, okay. Against Chung Lee, right? Yeah. yeah. I think because Jono doesn't punish the spinning bird kick. That's Ow, why. How do you do it? Huh? How do you do it? Uppercut it. She's, oh, yeah. she's spinning and then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Even heavy kick would work as well. Any. Any. Yeah. Press any. Do it. Me, KG play? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Sorry about the LGX guys. We'll have to figure out what's going on for next month. But I unplug it, plug it back in. Um, so we're going to winners finals now. Congrats on Henry getting fourth. He's he's too good for his own good. I, I don't like that matchup, even though it's in my favor. So we got the OHN champions, ABMKG, and Kyoku again. Um, I guess we're going to see Boxer Faye, but I'm not really sure sort of what Dave favors in this matchup. Um, KG's well and truly warmed up, so at this point it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what you do, man. I don't know what you do against Boxer. You saw what happened when I tried. I got destroyed. All right, so it's going with the Kami. Um, there will be no, like, KG's not going to fall for any of the gimmicks, like, guaranteed. So I guess we'll see how what Dave's idea of playing this matchup solidly is. I know that... 
Dave feels this matchup is kind of a specialty matchup for boxer players. So he gets away with a lot of low level boxers just kind of doing cami things, but you know, that matchup is obviously very heavily in boxer's favor. And now he's got bar. Doesn't matter. Don't matter. Wow. Kami's super is so, I mean, Kami's DP is so, 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 so invincible. But sometimes you forget that when you're playing Boxer, you're not going to have a good time. But honestly, these two are so good at this point. Like, character matchups do matter, but Dave knows every single pixel of this matchup against KG. And KG knows how to not give a shit against every pixel against Kami. So it's kind of even in that sense. Nice hooligan, what's the setup? Oh, he goes same side, but KG face tanks. Don't worry guys, that gets nerfed in Ultra Street Fighter 2. That's not going to be a thing anymore. For better or worse. I think it's for the worst, but I guess it's a different game. So they're going straight back into it on the Hong Kong stage. Nice. Hey, oh, only two. Good mash. So you see Dave sitting right outside the um, the straight punch range, just trying to challenge with the crouching middle punch. It gets incredibly difficult once Boxer has super because obviously you're going to lose the entire round off it, but there are any number of things you could lose an entire round off with Boxer. So, yes. Oh, no meaty for you. Great reversal. And he's got the corner, but goes high. Oh, wow, the face tank wasn't enough for Boxer. <laughs> nice and the meaty's gonna do it KG's gonna go up 2-0 oh the face coming out when in doubt stay it out Whoa. so there you go if your reversal timings are on point and you see people meaty tapping Tapping you, excuse me. Um, just remember it's Boxer, and Super Turbo still has invincible supers, and that's not the right DP. Oh. That was a really big call out on the upper in the throw, but it worked out for Dave, but this is a very scary situation for him. And this is over. Three, four, five. The last hit's gonna do it. KG moves to match point to put himself in grand finals here at YSB48. <laughs> so you see Dave's finally establishing the chicken wing game. And once again, KG's not interested, not having any of that. And he's going to take it. Alright, I'm going to hop up, play Dave. Good stuff to KG moving to Grand Finals. Dave, stay put.
I stuffed the super code. I 1000% stuffed the super code, but tournament rules are that if you fuck up, I mean, if you mess up the code, it doesn't matter because, you know, it's not, it's honestly not that hard to get that code out. So the fact that I lost it, I, I dropped it is my own fault. So Dave offered, but I said, nah, we're going to let it rock. If I'm going to tear my own tournament, I got to, um, I got to abide by the same set of rules. So anyway, we got Dave getting his run back against KG here in grand finals. Why, what, what died? Oh, we lost game three. Are we back? No, sorry, I don't know where the game feed's gone. Sounds super low for some reason. Whatever, we'll just boost it. Um, so yeah, KG. I don't know, they're just gonna do the same stuff they did in winners. So yeah, similar sort of thing we saw last round where um, you're gonna see Dave just drive a lot of preemptive normals to try and stop Box's approach. Is that a punish? Oh, that could be, yeah, that's it. Well done. Dave, of course, on the loser's side. He's got to win six games in this ridiculously hard matchup, but I'll tell you what, he's done it. There's no schedule, but Mortal Kombat's next until the end. I'll make a note of that for next month. Man, Boxer just, there's so many things that are impressive about him, but um, man, like, the fact that he can get you to the corner so easily is one of them. Alright, so Tekken, Tekken's running late, so it's not going to get main, uh, main stream time, but you can go to twitch.tv slash blankerx, I'll put it up in the chat, if you want to watch Tekken go there, but unfortunately they ran behind, I think they had more entries than they were anticipating, so... Mortal Kombat will be getting their spot, um, and they'll be running Tekken 7 off stream for the rest of the day. But it's alright, like it's growing pains, it comes with the, um, it comes with the, with the whole new stream schedule. Like if we're going to run more than one game on the stream, like, you know, this is going to happen. So we'll work to rectify that in future months. Like the fact that we have Super Turbo on the main stream should be like a testament to how, how big a step has come. Like, it's no longer the Street Fighter 5 show, and it hasn't been for a long time. We really want to reflect that on the Ultra stream. Jeez, that's brutal. Oh, jeez. KG's not happy about that. Look at him. Hugo watching in the wings. His Vorog Senpai. No charge, so not able to get the full punish on that. Such a rough spot for Kami. Oh my goodness. And KG moves to match point. Here at YSB 38. Now, Dennis, let's talk about Daria. We're not talking about Daria. Yeah, we're talking about how broken. You play anime games, so you're fully aware of how broken characters operate. Yeah, yeah, I know how broken is. So, uh, 
No, we're talking about ST. Keep your shitty card games out of my game. This matchup is so bad. Like, I know Dave is putting up a fight, but this matchup is actually so bad. I feel like two boxer matchups is really good in his favor in like every matchup. Pretty much. But the thing is, is like, it's important to remember that when you watch Dave, matchup, this matchup is bad. Like, just because Dave makes it look like he has options, that's, that's no. Dave is just that good, you know? Yeah, no matter how good you are, this is a game where, like, bad matchups are bad. Yeah. There, there's no, like, 9-1, no anime, like, believing in yourself is going to save you. Like, a 9-1 is a 9-1, and you're going to yeah, lose this, it. This game came before anime was real. Oh, no. Is he going to take it? No, Dave! Is it raw super to punch that? I don't know if, if the, the jailing part would have made it in time. And KG's done it. Good stuff to him. Defends his throne. The first YSB has come back to in a long time and like just defends his throne without any sort of trouble. So coming up next, we got Mortal Kombat XL, because I think that's the only thing left to run. Really? That was, that was, that was